Hello, it's me Ashley and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a fab day. Today guys, I've got for us a travel vlog of leaving the Maldives. So we've just got packed up, our cases are here, ready to go, they're going to be picked up shortly and then we will be on the boat ride to the airport. I will be bringing you along, I'll show you what Mali airport lounge is like and a little bit around the airport if I can and then we will be on a four hour flight to Dubai and then we've got a five hour layover in Dubai, we're in the business lounge which is amazing so I'll be able to show you some stuff around there if I haven't just fallen asleep <laughs> but it's quite late here, it is half past six at night, our flight is five to eleven and then we land back home um, at something past eleven in the morning so we've got a long travel day ahead, but I'll take you with me and show you what it's all about. I suppose I'll quickly show you my travel outfit number one. Um, I've got an outfit to get changed into in Dubai. I've gone for just a little strappy vest and a comfy skirt. And I'm gonna shove some flip-flops on, but I have my vans in my hand luggage. So we're about to head for the boat. Goodbye room. Goodbye. Hi. Bye. <laughs> Let's go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hello. 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 <laughs> Loading our bags into the boat. Yeah, all match. Let's get some money. I like jackets. Yeah. Okay. On the boat, ready to go. I've fastened my hair up this time. Yeah, so this is the duty free section in Mali Airport. So I've got lots of booze and things outside. Over here, all the perfumes and things. We're heading down there to the lounge. Um, but I'll do a little wander around first. Ooh, fancy. Oh, it's good vodka. <laughs> okay. Like watches, jewelry. Some shopping. A little confectionery store. Authentic Maldives store. Thank you. We've got a Burger King. Chris will be disappointed we're in the lounge.
<laughs> and then we're heading to the business lounge. This is called the Lily Lounge. I've got myself some penne arrabbiata, some roast potatoes, a bit of salad -y stuff, got a coffee, a bit of lemon and some cheese and tomato sandwiches. had a little welcome apple juice they don't offer alcohol in Mali um, so we've just been given a little amenities kit so Chris has the one for men and brush head comb lots of use out of that brush razor a little thing of smellies tissues a little deodorant shaving cream some hydrating body emulsion and a shape bag. Okay, so I will show you my little bag shortly. Um, just been handed a menu and a wine list, so I thought I'd show you those. Um, so the menu, let's have a little look. It starts with some juice, soft drinks, mocktails, tea and coffee. And then we've got a choice for dinner. I just pre-ordered a vegetarian meal, so I'll get what I'm given kind of a thing. Um, the choices of appetizers on this one are Arabic dips, smoked salmon roulade, and then there are mains of grilled chicken, mutton curry, grilled barramundi, <laughs> um, a selection of bread, and then the desserts there is coconut creme caramel, seasonal fruit, or a cheese selection, followed by fine luxury chocolates. I think the rest is in a different language. And then the wine list has, it's really hard to do with one hand. <laughs> um, champagne, I think I'll, oh, listen to the blinking thing every time. But champagne, I'll probably get some. Fog in the plane. And then the selection of wine. through the 
little amenities kit we get. They've got this lovely shimmery golden Bulgari bag. And then inside we've got a product to use on the flight, should we want to. It's the same as the one we got going out, except it's a different bag. So there are tissues, there is a face emulsion, so like a face moisturiser. There is a little mini eau de toilette. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> um, then we've got a, what's this one? A body lotion. We have a lip balm. I've actually been using the one from the flight out on the, while I've been on holiday. It's nice. And then we also get a little toothbrush and toothpaste. A compact mirror. A hairbrush and a deodorant. And then the bag itself is pretty useful. The fact it's got like little pockets, nicely lined and everything. So yeah, that's our little amenities kit. So now I've just been flicking through the movies and TV selection, and the TV selection's got a lot of weird stuff in there. It seems to be a lot of like stuff that's like season two of something. So I was just looking, trying to decide what movie to watch. I'm thinking maybe a Christmas movie, because chances are I'll fall asleep at some point, because it's um, rather late now. Uh, so yeah, I'll let you know what I decide. So I've chosen to play the movie last Christmas. I can control it from my tablet here and lay back and chill. give you a choice of olives or nuts. We got some olives, had one, they're very nice, and I got some champagne. And I'm watching the movie. So food has just arrived. I have no idea what my main is kind of lentily thing with rice, green beans and a ball of something. <laughs> also a little pancakey thing. Um, a salad to start with and then I chose to have the fruit as my pudding. Okay so this is my food. To start with I got the smoked salmon roulade which is filled with cream cheese and served with potato and chive salad. And my main is grilled barramundi served with coriander pesto, roasted vegetables and wild rice. And then for my dessert I got a coconut creme caramel served with honey and praline cream. Uh, I also got a second salmon style because my sister doesn't want it and then it comes with a bread bone which you can't see and stuff and if I seem to remember from last time this stuff yeah the Malay pickle which is not zooming in is amazing so I'm looking forward to that so now eating my food I was too impressed with any of it to be honest. This was okay. The salad was probably the nicest bit and a fruit for a CD. Um, yeah, so okay, but at least we eat. <laughs> the starry skies have started. Ooh. I do like that about Emirates. Can you spot Orion?
have landed in Dubai. We're just taxiing to the airport. I didn't get to sleep on that flight. I'm tired. Um. So we've arrived now in the business lounge. Um, we've got ourselves seated right near the Moyen Chandon Champagne Bar. It's the middle of the night, so it looks, doesn't look like there's any nipples on. Help yourself to spirits. And then there's the Moe Bar. I think these are designed to like go with the champagne. Depending on which one you get. Ooh. Okay, so we're just having a wander around the lounge. This is the Asian section. Get your drinks. See what's over here. It looks like salads, shrimp, yellow lentil, chicken salad, curried lamb. Ooh, what's that? Oh, mushrooms. That looks like something oh. weird. And then we've got like yogurts and sandwiches, grilled capsicum and tofu sandwich. Ooh. Let's go around here, see what else there is. Oh, and there's hot food there, but let's look at the cold food. Salmon. Spinach with tahini yogurt. Oh, look at the hummus. So the hot food on offer does not tell you what it is. But we have some rice, a curry, whatever that is. Ooh, noodles. Stick fried vegetables. Rice. Some fried rice, which I don't think it is. No. Uh, some kind of Thai curry. Yeah. That's definitely not a vegetable congee that's beyond yeah. it. <laughs> so I think we need to get the sides sorted. Okay, the next section we have is desserts. Everything's quite quiet because it's literally the middle of the night. It's something past three. But we've got some interesting looking puddings. That was popular. <laughs> Here we've got a cute little ice cream cart, different types of corns, different flavours. I suppose the flavours are on ooh, this, which it's not too focusing on too well. Plenty of dining seating all around. Like I say, it is the middle of the night at the minute, so it is very quiet. So next we've got the Middle Eastern and Western section. Again, like a little drink section. And then an entry and an exit. So we'll have a little look what there is. Salads for the look of it. Of varying types. And then we've got some hot food here, some beef stroganoff and roast potatoes. Don't know what that one is. Some kind of stew, then we've got a chickpea stew and then a baked dory. And then this is the good stuff. Macaroni cheese. Nom nom nom, I had some of that on the way out. <laughs> and then some other little bits and bobs. Again, daft little sandwiches and things. Okay, the other side of the eastern and western um, side, everything, <laughs> everything's very similar. 
nothing here is labelled. And then over here we've got mixed bean stew. Some rice. Um, lo roasted lemon chicken. Mutton. Gross. And then again some more like low breakfasty bits and sandwiches. And a tea and coffee machine. So as you can see the lounge has various different types of seating. It is huge. It's literally like the upper level of the airport. So if you like look down, Chris and I will take you down there in a moment. But you get the idea. Lots of seating. Oh, and you get your own space really, which is good. And I have lost Chris. Good morning, ma'am. Morning. <laughs> and oh, Chris has found more food. <laughs> oh, it's the health hub. All the seeds and fruits. Water. More sandwiches and salads. Portion controlled. Ooh. Oh, the Around this side we've got fancy waters. So we've got green apple and celery detox. Another detox with all sorts in. Blueberry mint and lemon infused. Cucumber and orange. And strawberry and rosemary. That one's obviously popular, it's empty. And then some fresh fruit. And the pineapple's obviously the most popular fruit. Ooh, that's an interesting looking one. Yeah. There is a Costa coffee stand, but because it's the middle of the night, it is not currently open. And again, so much more. So there's now a breakfast selection of food out. This is in the Asian section. Got hummus and bits and bobs. Then some sandwiches still. I tried one of the capsicum and tofu sandwiches. It's basically just pepper. There's no tofu in it either. And cheeses, yogurt. There's a selection of cereal. 
And then I think around the corner is just much the same. Ooh, Arabic pickles though. Mm -hmm. Pastries, sandwiches, yogurts, etc. So a selection of breads. And then the hot food over here has changed. Ooh. And then we've got a coconut curry. All, opening all these the wrong way with the light. <laughs> ah, coconut chutney. I had some of that while we were away. And then we've got paratha and whatever that is. Hello. Cool yeah, salad. vegetarian though, it does tell you. Yeah. Egg curry. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's interesting. Stir fried vegetables. Kimchi fried rice, shrimp gyoza, vegetable congee, and some scrambled egg, sausages, and kidney bean stew. Browns and mushrooms. Pancakes. Got myself a selection of random breakfast bits. So we've just taken our seats on the final flight of the trip. Just got a glass of champagne given. Cheers. I'm very tired. So if you saw my first travel vlog, the seats are pretty much the same almost. Got a little footwell and area, I think I'm guessing this where the shoes should go. Um, screen, um, just a seat. I'm guessing this will be a tray table somehow. I haven't figured it out. <laughs> I don't know. And then over here we've got controls, uh, light, charging ports, got a tablet up there couple of drinks in a little mini bar and some storage space up there and a lovely little table um, and then Chris is over here just to the side of me there's a divider that could come up should we want it to but we don't want it to do we Chris Chris <laughs> oh no so a quick look at the menu for this flight so we start with breakfast um, a continental breakfast or an express breakfast might skip that and have a little uh, nap <laughs> and then lunch choices there we've got lentil soup Arabic mezze seared salmon and for the mains pan fried lamb roast chicken or butter prawns obviously I get the veggie section selection <laughs> um, and then over here are the desserts, chocolate truffle cake, coconut pineapple mousse, seasonal fruit, cheese board. So we are watching the takeoff from the ice screens. <laughs> Chris has got a different view. the world's most boring travel vlog <laughs> been sleeping in for the last few hours absolutely shattered um, but we're gonna go and have a little look in the bar so I'll uh, show you around from down there snacks on offer in the bar different sandwiches fruit.
to nibble on and um, Chris has gone for a Bloody Mary and I have a Bugs Fizz champagne and orange juice and that's a cucumber and ricotta sandwich. Chris said about how was it? Yeah, quite expected. Cucumber and ricotta cheesy. <laughs> Hi, might be a bit weird but I wanted to show you the bathroom. It's got a window. <laughs> it's got a full leg mirror. Toilet, which I won't show you too closely. There are two brushes and razors and little Bulgari sprays. Nice little plant. Sink, tissues, and things, flannels, and a window. So, Chris's starter has arrived. He has got the seared salmon with um, fennel, salad, red onions and pickled caper berries. He's got a little bun, some salad, and some butter, balsamic, and a glass of water. Bon appetit! Okay, my starter has arrived. As always, not a clue. Various bits and bobs. A little salad, some kind of wrap, some accoutrements, mango pickle balsamic, butter, etc. Okay, so my starter, some kind of wrap. Salad, salad was nice, I did a little balsamic and oil. Um, the starter was some kind of like potato-y thing, all a little bit spicy, I must admit, if you're vegetarian and going for a vegetarian meal, you really are gonna have to like spice, because everything I've had is spicy. Um, there was, so yeah, potato-y thing, there was um, like a pastry thing, it was a little bit hard, I wasn't as keen on that. I think this might have been some kind of cheese. <laughs> I don't know, it was okay. The salad was good. And Chris has eaten all of his. How was it? Nice. Rob's, Rob's scriptive, descriptive. Well, I mean, you can be, but nice. You said it was one of your favourite things you've had on a plane yeah, this just time. Kind of the salad with the uh, pomegranate in was nice. I used uh, balsamic and olive oil mix on it. Yeah. Kind of worked together with cherry tomatoes and stuff. The bread was like uh, a tomato we for ketchup, but it was nice and soft. Again, that was that tomato balsamic and mm -hmm. olive oil, very tasty. And the salmon it was very. Well, salmon. <laughs> salmon here, kind of juicy and flavourful. Okay, cool. Uh, he doesn't like capers. No, <laughs> So I've kind of, I got myself a glass of Chablis. I had a glass of champagne prior to this. Okay, I'm gonna run out of battery. And I was just gonna show you my little messy setup, but we're about to die, I think. My main has arrived. Again, no clue. Oh, I can't believe this thing's about to cut out as well. Um, got something saucy, some peas and rice, and something less so. So this is Chris's main. He went for the roasted chicken, which is served with a porcini mushroom sauce, mashed potatoes, steamed green beans, and sauteed peppers. Nice. Looks less complicated than mine. <laughs> so I finished my main. This was some kind of cauliflower something. This didn't taste really like anything, to be honest. The most flavorful part was the rice and peas, which was nice. Um, yeah, not too sure about either of the sides, so not bad. I thought it was just gonna be like a makani, but it didn't taste very much of anything. Um, looks like Chris has enjoyed his though. Is that a thumbs up? It was tasty. <coughs> Chicken was juicy uh, and very tasty. The gravy helped a lot with that, I think. Uh, the mashed potato was quite nice and buttery. I mean, the veg, the veg. But okay. Chicken was actually good. Jolly good. Glad you enjoyed. So, Chris's dessert has arrived. He has gone for the coconut pineapple mousse cake garnish with pistachios and apricot compost. Thank you. Served with an orange macaroon and some little chocolates. And then mine has been delivered. I have the vegan option, apparently. This is a chocolate truffle cake garnished with hazelnuts and pistachios, apparently. It looks a little bit fancy. Sorry, I'm not in centre. <laughs> it's got gold leaf on it, look at that. And I also got some little chocolates. Cute. So, and this says something about me. Um, I'm more of a savoury person. This was literally my favourite class of the three. It's really, really nice. Um, kind of nice, soft, cakey-ness. Um, it's not too, like, 
dark chocolatey, if you know what I mean. It's not too severe. Um, really, really nice. Can't taste the gold. <laughs> but no, I enjoyed it. I was going to show you the cameras as we were landing, but I don't know if you can just make out that is the shape of the plane. Um, the visibility is very, very poor outside, so I'm not sure we'll be able to see anything. But, um, oh, there's a little bit of something over on Chris's screen. I was going to say I'll let you know if we land okay, but you, you, you might get to see us land. Again, it's not the clearest, but it's coming in a shot. See the runway. We're now officially back in the UK. So we've just disembarked the plane. There it is, there. Uh, double decker Emirates. A380. <laughs> um, very nice flight. Very nice. And we can already feel the cold. Chris is loving it, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> the Hello. Oh my god, my hair. <laughs> um, okay, so Chris and I are now back in the car on the way home. Um, very, very tired. <laughs> it's very, very cold. <laughs> but I'll. Um, I'll let you know when we get home, okay? <laughs> Bye! It's editing Ashley here, realising I never signed off the vlog. I was very, very tired, <laughs> so that's my excuse. Um, but, oh, and Luna's with me. <laughs> Basically, just wanted to pop on, sign off. Do apologise if I sound a bit nasally, I've got a cold. Um, hi, Luna, hi. <laughs> So drop me a comment and let me know what you thought of our travels and if you haven't already make sure you check out our other videos from the Maldives. I did a vlog travelling there, I did a typical day in the Maldives vlog and I did a tour around the island. I'm also hoping to try and get done a must pack video, like things you should pack for the Maldives or I recommend anyway. <laughs> um, so yes, Check those out if you haven't already. If you've enjoyed this video, please do me a favour, hit that like button, give me a huge thumbs up, that would be fab. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I've got way more coming very, very soon, so make sure you stick around. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye. Luna, say bye. See you, bye-bye. <laughs>